They found me already. I'm not pointing any fingers here. I don't know how this happened, but our liner piece for the stream bed went in the wrong way. <laughs> DJ's pointing fingers. I'm gonna blame it on the rain. I couldn't see straight. It was raining that hard. <laughs> Well, well, good morning. We are here in Altoona. Good morning. We didn't know you guys were here. <laughs> well, what yes, do you think? This is, a, this is a, the old homeowners did this, not us. We just moved in here last uh -huh. year. Well, we can fix this up. And it's been a mess ever. I mean, I'll you bet. can't run it I'll because bet. it leaks. Oh, yeah. And we can't sit out here because it's Mosquito City. I bet it is. Yes. And they told us it would cost us more to find the leak and repair it than it would be to yeah. just destroy this yeah. and we can tear this all out and put something in the work for you yeah. for sure <laughs> absolutely well my name's ben hi i'm stephanie stephanie I'm and you're bill William? bill yep. yep well nice to meet you nice, nice to here. meet you okay. we have we have frogs living in the pond okay so i'm hoping that with this new one that they'll still stay around because i won't lie won't. i yeah. like listening to them at night <laughs> gonna need a pond for frogs that's yeah. the thing well, then I guess they're going to find another pond. Oh, they will. Okay. I'm sure they will. <laughs> yep. Have See, the thing there. with the pondless is it's stream, but there's no, there's there's no there's pond for them. They, they, they like to stand That's fun. Pondlesses are low maintenance, easy to care for, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be beautiful right here. All right. Oh, uh, here we have Valor. <laughs> Just oh wow, the party never ends around here. As soon as one <laughs> loud piece of equipment goes, another one comes. Alrighty folks, good morning. Coming to you from Altoona, about 20 minutes from our shop. We have a 16 foot mountain stream to put in. And what is so often the case, we get to tear out a disaster. This thing leaked. It was more work to get the thing running than it was to just tear it out and start from the beginning. So here's what we got to work with. <laughs> There's a lot of remodeling happening here. They're redoing their gazebo. They're going to be spending a lot of time out on this deck. They want to do two things, take care of the problems they have, and also create some beautiful water feature for them to spend time by. So we're going to start this morning by tearing out all of this stuff. Uh, Val is going in some topsoil. We're going to fill in that hole, get a nice clean slate. And there's our boulders that are going in. This is actually the first uh, feature we did this year that we're using uh, limestone Senko boulders. They're always kind of fun to build with. They have a lot of uh, a lot of character, DJ says. Yes. <laughs> but I like to build with sandstone. Ah, I like to build with that. This will be a fun one to build with, for sure. So, I'm gonna get in that machine and start raising havoc. I think I can use concrete. Yes, concrete. So if you have a leaking edge, the first thing you can do is mix over back to concrete and just slather it on the edges. You're guaranteed gonna fix the problem. All right, let's get this day started with a bang. Mm. Look at that slurry that mess. Oh my yeah, word, this is disgusting. Look at that concrete. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Some kind of <laughs> sick, disgusting stuff crawling around on there. This thing is just teeming with life of some sort. So we're using that instead of pond foam now. It works better. You just slurry it down and then plop down a rock. Seals it all off. I cannot believe that this thing leaked. Can you? No, I can't see a reason why it would have. Just look well, at that. I hear the mosquitoes mourning the death of the breeding ground. Stupid! They found me already! Mr. Destruction right there. That's right. I think this thing's gonna come out with one piece. Look at this. Look, look. That's just unbelievable. It looks like they took concrete along the whole edge of this thing and then plop their stones into it. That's actually pretty nice of them. That's gonna come out, that's gonna come out easier. All the way around the edge and then just plop their stones into it. Wow. That's a good way to keep them in place. I think we ought to re-strategize. <laughs> Demolition complete. 
finally have a clear slate to start working. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. This is where our basin is gonna go. Have it painted out. This first falls is just kind of gonna be falling this way. I like to kick my stream over. Second falls, um, going this way. Get some good viewing there from the gazebo. And uh, put a nice little west turn in here. This one I'm thinking of more or less, so uh, just kind of this general direction. Then our spillway will be right here. And I'd really like to knock this one this way as hard as I can. They spend some time in those chairs and stuff. So that'll give really good viewing from there. Probably gonna have to set some boulders along this driveway just so I get enough of height to make sure that we still have some falls. But I have to see a little bit with the laser, but this is probably gonna be kind of a slow and lazy stream, right? Because we don't have very much hikes and it's gonna be hard to build with more hikes because we're locked in. I don't want it to look like a volcano. And these two points don't let me build much of a mound. So it's still gonna be beautiful and it's gonna work. Good afternoon, folks. I'll give you a quick update on our project up here in Altoona. Okay, just kidding, this is awesome. And now here's Ben. He, he has something <laughs> to say to the camera. Yeah, not really. <laughs> what, what's on your mind? I just, I tell you what's on my mind. I'd like to go home and take a hot shower and possibly a change of clothes would be nice. We have dealt with this stuff all, all day. day. Seems like it's slowing down now. But we have some pretty cool stuff going on. So here's what I'm thinking. A little falls right in here. Uh, not much more than a ripple. Falling into a pocket right here. Not exactly sure what all I'm gonna do here when I foam, but more or less not a sheet waterfall, but just kind of a gusher down into this thing and shooting my water out through this narrow. I, I may not even foam much in here, so that not all the water goes over there, but a certain percentage of it comes out there. So down here, over there, and over there. And this is gonna be direct viewing from the gazebo. Or the, whatever you call that thing. It's not, it's not the patio. The thing. The thing, yeah, you know, the thing. And over here, we're just kind of toying with this rock here. I don't know what, maybe we'll take it out completely. I'm not sure yet. This is gonna be a real deep pool because we have water level here. So we have a water level about here. This is not gonna be more than about a seven and eight inch drop a straight sheet coming out here. And then I don't know what, it's a secret. I'll tell you later what we're gonna do here. No one's allowed to know, but it's gonna be awesome, I'm sure. And then, ah, so let's got this one coming over here. Like kind of twist the stream over here, next fall right there. And then the last fall is kind of pointing towards those rocking chairs over there. Somehow, I'm not pointing any fingers here. I don't know how this happened, but our liner piece for the stream bed went in the wrong way. DJ's pointing figures. I'm gonna blame it on the rain. I couldn't see straight. It was raining that hard. We got her 20 feet in this way and 15 feet in this way. And now I'm gonna have to do an overlap on the next fall. Not cool at all. Basically, we grabbed two corners out of the power liner and pulled on it. That's kind of the, That's kind of what happened. Kind of what happened here. Still have a little boulder to put in here. We got a far ways to go to. I, I don't really see. Much of a foaming issue? Yeah, then? I don't see any problems going foaming this. This is no. not a problem at all. It's nice and dry, nice and clean. Hey, we, we can see our gravel pockets working here. Water comes off there, straight to gravel pocket. <laughs> As you can hear, it's flatter into the basin. Test fit with a heavy rainstorm. That'll be all, folks, for now. <laughs> I cannot believe how that worked. Hey. You idiot. What? <laughs> see what I have to deal with day after day. All right, that'll be it for now, folks. We're gonna go back to playing in the mud.